morning, everybody. It's Andrew. I'm on the banks of the Humber River. And I'm thinking about moose this morning. Now, queer time to be thinking about moose. Or so you would think. Right? I mean, moose, moose have become very much a part of our culture, part of our lore, a part of our, our song, our dance, our music. Right? Time to go a moose hunting, hunting in the fall. Time to go a moose hunting, answer the hunting call. Got to get me moose, boys! It's April 17th, Andrew. And guys, look. Moose hunting applications came out this week. And there's no doubt it's on my mind because of that. But as well, I just drove across the island. And I'm going to be driving back again tomorrow. And yesterday we saw a moose vehicle accident. This is the time of year. And I got a lot of tourists. Look, we hear people saying, oh, I don't know if I'm, if I'm going to be willing to drive in Newfoundland, you know, with all the moose vehicle accidents. There's no doubt. We have a really high con concentration of moose in Newfoundland. There's over 120,000. Well, they say there has been up to over 120. I think it's probably a little less than that now. But regardless, there's a lot of moose. They really have done well here especially given the fact that they've only been introduced in the past century. Well, a little more than a century now. 1904 is when the moose were, were introduced to Newfoundland. We often joke with the tourists and use it as a simple reminder. Remember guys, we've been at this business a long time, since children, right? And when you remember when you're in school and you're making little rhymes in your head and you know, ways to remember specific dates, events, and uh, one of the ones that I always remember is with the, the moose. And we, we, we introduced the moose in 1904 to replace the French. <laughs> I know, is that why we called them moose? <laughs> That's for you, James. Uh, I'm being silly, of course. So was Buddy Wass's name and the, and the other fella. But, and, and again, let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> the entire cultural mosaic here in Newfoundland is often based on being silly. When I say we introduced the moose to replace the French, okay, there's a certain truth to that. The government of France controlled the coastline of Newfoundland from Cape St. John all the way as far as Cape Ray. So this whole west coast where I am right now, this was all controlled by the government of France until 1904. And when I say it was controlled, it meant that the French had the right to fish the waters. They weren't allowed to develop the land. As Newfoundlanders, we were allowed anywhere out here on the land, but we had no opportunity to fish and therefore no economic opportunity. And now when I say none, obviously, look, you're speaking to Andrew, there were some, Nicholsville and places like that, there were people in, were coming well into the interior using these natural waterways to float logs, to float masts. There was a timber resource here. But in comparison to what Newfoundland was really focused on, and that was what we were busy at, it was our responsibility, feeding the world and supplying them with, um, with an oil, right? Again, our seal and our, and our cows. <clears throat> in 1904, it opens up a whole new world, right? We've just built a railway in 1898. Now we have access to the coastal waters, to the shorelines, to unlimited resources, the mineral resources, the timber resources, everything that is within the interior of the island. In order to encourage settlement, Right? Because again, this is a no man's land. Right? Up until 1904, there is very little population here. There's some Aboriginal people that have been left here um, since, well really, since the Seven Years' War, since 1762. But for the most part, there's not a whole lot of development on the west coast of Newfoundland. In order to encourage development, encourage people to settle, to start to develop some of these other resources that we have here, they introduced the moose. It was to provide a source of fresh meat. Remember, there's only 14 indigenous species of mammals in Newfoundland, right? There's no meat here, right? Our source of protein, of course, is the cod and there's the seal, but moose was to, was the idea was to encourage people, and let's not kid ourselves, to create a tourism opportunity as well. We introduced the moose in 1904. Today, they say there's over 120,000 moose on the island. And at this time of year, you gotta remember about moose, all right? A cow moose is very maternal. She is, she keeps her calf with her for a full year and she's getting ready to calf again. 
just before she calves again, it's around the 24th of May weekend, she will drive away last year's calf, a calf that has been by her side for the last 12 months at all times, right? She's taught it everything that that calf needs to survive, needs to thrive, needs to, right, to, to endure in Newfoundland. But like any young fella, and let's not kid ourselves, young maid that's out on its own for the very first time, these calves, these yearlings, these one-year-old calves, are apt to do really, really silly stuff. They're worse than Kevin Blackmore and the boys with Buddy Wass's name and the other fella. I saw the, the moose accident we saw this week as the moose, he was already off the road and he darted right back in front of the car. So when you're driving at this time of year, right, Try to do it during daylight hours. This is really important. You gotta keep your speeds at the posted speed limit, right? You really don't want to be hammering across this island at this time of the year. Keep it to the speed limit. And guys, focus on the road at all times. This is not a time to be texting. I mean, it never is. It never is. Let's not kid ourselves, right? But at this time of year, no, no golly gagging along, no playing the music and swinging your head to the beat. This is a time of year when you really have to be focused. It only takes a little while, right? It's only a, about a month of this before those calves get settled away, get into the woods. But for the next month, month and a half, really till the end of June, mind yourself on the highway, pay heed, and um, watch out for the moose. Thanks for listening, guys. It's Andrew McCarthy. I am the Urban Bayman, and I'm going to ask you to subscribe to this podcast. Thanks.